Here, on February 3, 1865, Sherman's 17th U.S. Army Corps, led by General Joseph Maurer and Lieutenant General Giles Smith, attacked the Confederate division of Major General Lafayette McLaws and forced the crossing of the Sockalhatchee River after a gallant defense by outnumbered forces. Hi, this is Rick Curtis, and this Leadership Minute is brought to you from Earnhardt, South Carolina, on the battlefield of Rivers Bridge. One thing General Sherman's forces did not count on here was the show of force and the 1,200 troops that were deeply dug into the earthen barricades that surround this swamp. While the defenses were significant, Sherman's forces sent men into the nearly impassable swamps behind me and surrounded Confederate forces on all sides. This confrontation was hand to hand and it was brutal. However, it proved to decimate the Confederate forces and Sherman's forces advanced to North Carolina, hindered by only one day on his march. There are times as an organizational leader that you will need to go where you don't want to go to win the victory. You need to lead your people into the swamp. However, the move can be strategic and empowering. In times of confrontation, the straight and obvious path is rarely the right one. You need to think strategically, marshal the forces, ready them to go where others would not want to go and make your advance. Organizational restructuring is never easy, and as the leader, you need to think like a general. When forces rise to stop your advance, you need men and women who are ready at your leading to do whatever it takes to break through the barriers and bring the victory.